Hello friends, in this lecture we'll study the first characteristics of cloud computing which is on-demand self-service. So this is the first characteristics out of those five characteristics which we uh, which we had seen in the previous lecture. So let's see what is on-demand self-service. So on-demand self-service, if you'll just pay attention to the name, it is on-demand self-service, a kind of a service which you can you know provision yourself so whenever there is a requirement whenever there is a demand so you can provision that particular service you know with yourself without uh, anybody's interaction so what does on-demand self-service says and this definition is again provided by the NIST because if you remember this is one of the five essential characteristics and these characteristics were given by NIST right and this definition is also given by NIST which says on-demand self-service is a feature right allowing cloud computing users to manage their own virtual resources without interaction with the service provider so let's say for an example it is 3 a.m. in the midnight and I am working for an organization and I need a 500 GB of storage right so in that case I should not be calling the service provider like AWS or Microsoft Azure to boss just provide me this 500 GB of uh, hard disk drive right so on-demand self services whatever your requirement is as per you know different customers they are having a different requirement you should be able to get those service without the interaction of a service provider right I can log into the AWS console or Azure console I should be able to get those services so let's see with the help of an example so if you'll see uh, this company A then company B company C and company D right so each organization has a different kind of business right so organization A might be having a different kind of a business they need more of computing resources or some messaging needs are there right similarly company C and company C users they need application services only and company D they need platform services or or storage services only so you know from this point you can just imagine that there are n number of organizations right fortune 500 companies and all these organizations are there so each and organizations they are running different kind of business some are service based industry some are engineering organizations right so some are doing research some are stock based company stock uh, market organization some are stock brokers so each and every organization they are having a different application needs and they need a different kind of infra so they are having a different needs so depending on your need depending on your demand right whatever kind of resources you need you should be able to get that so this is the first characteristics which you should look for when you are choosing a service provider that okay is there a provision that okay if i can go ahead and get those resources which i need at any point of time so let's say if company a they say that okay give me 10 virtual machines so i should be able to get that by doing self-service or with the help of few clicks from the service provider I should not be calling or sending an email to service provider to give me 10 virtual machines right so similar way let's say if there is another need wherein says that give me 500 GB of hard disk or give me 2 terabyte of uh, hard disk drive so in that case I should be able to get those details or those services from the service provider without any kind of interruption now guys remember this thing that on-demand self-service characteristics just think from both ways if you are a cloud customer or a user of cloud services how easy it would be to just log into the cloud console and get this 500 GB of storage or 10 virtual machines at the same time because in that case you'll not be uh, waiting for someone to provision the resources for you you have just provisioned the virtual machine hard disk drive and your you can install the application and run your business with no time now think from a CSP point of view like in the last lecture we studied that okay we need to study these five characteristics from both the standpoint of only then we'll have a solid understanding of cloud computing so let's say if you're a service provider and you are running different uh, uh, 
different kind of uh, customers are using your cloud infra so in that case you you have automated the things in such a way that you are not responding to each and every request you have automated the task that within the few clicks they should be able to get those resources and in that case customers they'll have a uh, great uh, faith on you so that uh, you know they can uh, recommend the same to the other customers so this is the best example of uh, on-demand self-service other example uh, you know apart from the cloud if i'll say like on-demand self-services it is in the similar way like you log into the uh, amazon cloud and provision the resources like you go into the amazon website and order your favorite books or your favorite shoes like it is an on-demand self-service whenever you need a book you log into the amazon console or amazon portal and you order your book so this is a self-service again that uh, the example we are discussing is in the form of cloud services so it is the same thing so whenever there is a need i can uh, you know just log in and i can uh, you know order for those services so this is it in the first lecture uh, which is about on-demand self-service so first characteristics hope you have enjoyed the lecture so thank you guys thank you for watching meet you in the next lecture